The struggle I've been having dating as a plus-sized woman, and I think this if this reaches the right audience, many people have the same struggles. Um, so, as per my last video, I'm 21, never kissed, never had a date, and I have been trying to reach out, branch out, have conversations with guys, and a few minutes into talking, maybe an hour, it will turn sexual. And if that is for you, congratulations, I'm not going to judge you. Um, I believe in God, I believe in Christianity, and doing things the way the Bible says. And I will even express this in conversations with the guys, and it will just immediately be asking for a picture or asking to hook up. And I got to keep it a buck with you, okay? I got to keep it a real stack. I don't want to be mean. I don't want to be insensitive. I don't want to do any of that stuff. This woman don't look the best. She don't look the best. Even with the filter blurring out literally 90% of her face, she still don't look the best. To be 21 years old and not have a boyfriend, not have kissed anybody, never had a relationship is common. That's really common, matter of fact. I didn't lose my virginity until I was 20. So don't think that if you're, you know, an elder, an elder person and you still have your virginity by elder, I mean, like if you're in your 20s or even in your 30s, like whatever, you know, to be honest, is, is there's really no value on it. Don't, don't stress yourself out because you've never, you know, tasted a sweet sensation of a, you know, a va vaginal fluids or penis fluids or whatever the fuck. It's, it's not all that, to be honest. But to, to be also in the bracket of religious and then to sit there and say, like, you're only going to be, like, I'm guessing, given the fact that she's talking about it in this particular way, uh, no sexual contact at all until marriage, and then you look in the way that you do, I got to keep it a buck with you, bro. You're going to stay single for a long time, bro. It's already really, really far-fetched for somebody to be religious in our society nowadays, in our Western society, and then to also be so religious to where you're not going to engage in any sexual activities up until marriage, that's, you are going to be loveless. You are not going to have anything. And then, yeah, of course, dudes is going to ask for that, for the pictures, some authentication, because they're probably thinking, okay, this woman wants to wait till marriage. This woman obviously uh, is super religious, right? I got to at least see what I'm working with, right? Maybe I can compromise with this woman if she was looking like really good. If she was like a really, really good looking gal. And then they see you and they go, Aah! nah, because that's not really worth it for a lot of dudes. Um, most dudes, especially in her age bracket, 21, what are you crazy, bro? Every dude in that age bracket is going to want to smell a vagina. Every single guy. Now, granted, there might be some exceptions to this, but overall, the rule, yeah, these dudes is going to want to have sex. That's a fact. So... It sucks for me to say this. She's not going to get anybody. The fact that she looking the way that she does, she's big, um, and she's around the same age bracket as every dude that wants to have sex with you, and she's religious, nah, dude, it's not going to be looking good for you. It sucks. It, it really does suck, bro. It's not for you. Uh, you're going to have to compromise on one of those things. You're going to have to lose weight. Um, you're going to have to try to become a little bit prettier if you want to keep those other things going on, or you're just going to have to forsake the religion altogether and just have sex. Um, I'm not saying you have to break your, your key tenements here, but I'm just saying like most dudes around this age bracket, they're not going to want to do this. Now, granted, I, I, I totally respect you not wanting to have sex. It's fine. But dude, like you're in a really, really, really bizarre bracket right now. You literally have like three or four different things and they're all like 10 out of 10 in terms of how they're going to affect you. Um, it'd be better if you only had one struggle, but the fact that you have the looks, the obesity, the religion, and, and you ask it for a lot, that's, is going to be tough. It's going to be real tough, bro. I don't want to be mean. I don't want to be mean, but it's going to be real, real, real tough. It's uncomfortable. I've had guys um, tell me that because of my size, I should be happy someone wants to be with me at all. And, you know, it gets hard. It gets frustrating because I want to do things the way God intended them. Listen, bro. Listen, man. Listen, dude. I get it. I get it, dude, but you might not be you might not be that guy. You might not be that girl. You know what I'm saying? You might not be that girl. And as much as I feel like you want to be that girl, it may you may not be that girl. And you know what? You can fight as hard as you want to um, to be that girl, but I think you're going to have a lot of struggles in your life, bro, especially this religion argument. As you guys know, I'm not religious in any way. I don't really give a fuck one way or the other, but um, it's going to be tough. <laughs> it's going to be real tough, bro. I'm looking at you right now. It's going to be tough. It's hard. It gets frustrating because I want to do things the way God intended them. And I start to believe, well, is this just, is this how it is? Maybe I'm behind in dating. 
You know, I, I want to believe that there's someone out there that will take things slow, do things the right way. And but it's every conversation I have. What do you mean by the right way? Like somebody is going to court you, somebody's going to take you out, somebody's going to wait for marriage. We we live in a different era nowadays, okay? Like these religions um the way like I see a lot of people today talking about how people should act in relationships and how people should be one way or another. I hear women saying men need to be very traditional and they need to pay for everything. Um, and then I see women saying the other things, which is like, no, I want to pay for the stuff myself. I want to do it myself. I'm a, I'm a working girl. I'm a, I'm a bad bitch or whatever the fuck, right? It's fine. Personally, I think that is much better if both parties are working. Um, I think there's no problem with women being more masculine. I have no problem with men being more feminine. As you guys know, I'm hashtag snatch this fuck on the waist end or whatever. Uh, a lot of people would consider me to be feminine, which is fine. Um, I don't look at it as offensive, to be honest, but I understand some people do use it as an offensive term. But it's it's going to be difficult because a lot of people nowadays don't really give a fuck about religion. Even people that are religious tend to cherry pick. And they, they, they really pick out the things that they want to follow the most and other things they don't give a fuck about. And that's probably more common than what you're asking for, which is all or nothing. And you don't really seem like you're in a position to really ask for much, to be honest. Um, maybe work on yourself a little bit, you know? If you're over here talking about the way God would have wanted it, did he want you to be obese? Did he want you to be unhealthy? Or maybe the, would that individual, would that, you know, the omnipresent individual atop, the big spaghetti monster in the sky, would he have wanted you to become healthier and work on yourself and, you know, build yourself up a little bit, become more uh, of the person that you should be rather than the person that you are right now? Because I got to keep it a buck, though. The weight's going to be a major impediment right here. It is going to be a major negative factor. And I feel bad. I do, but I can't really feel that bad. You know, you're 21 years old, you should have realized this shit. Do things the right way, and but it's every conversation I have. Well, yeah, of course, bro. Yeah, <laughs> 100%, dude. Dudes on dating apps. Hey, what's your vagina smell like? If you could rate your boobs on a scale of 1 to 10, how many inches would they be? Hey, can I suck the dick of the last guy that had sex with you? That's what you're seeing all the fucking time on date. Even me. And if I'm on dating apps, I'm getting dudes hitting me up telling me that I look good and they're trying to smell my penis. I see that shit consistently. So it's not unique. It's just kind of like the realm of dating, dude. And I also get ghosted a lot. Mm -hmm. I um I will send. They'll ask what I look like. I'll send a picture to them. And that's that's crazy, bro. Um. Damn, bro, that's gotta be a major. That would hurt me a little bit if you send a picture and they just go, nah, and they just you never hear from them ever again. You gotta be real busted if that. <laughs> you gotta be real busted if that's just happening to you more than once, man. I'll suddenly be unadded, blocked, unfriended, and that's damn. Okay, I know that this really does mean they're not right for me, but it's starting to feel like there are no options out there. You're only 21. And I know I'm not alone. I'm so thankful for my community in my comments of my last video, um, sharing their stories or success stories. Look, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Here's some things that can improve your chances, okay? Lose weight, that should be number one on your list. I mean, that, you know, it, when it comes to physical attraction, uh, there may not be a lot of things that you can change, right? I can't change that I got bald spots right here. Can't change that I got a receding hairline, but maybe I could if I go over to like Turkey or something like that. I can't change that I'm, you know, five foot ten, probably a little bit under. I can't change a lot of these things, right? But one thing I know I can change is I can go to the gym, I can build muscle, I could become more fit, I can become more physically attractive through the realm of buying clothes and making myself look more physically attractive. Skincare is really, really important. All that stuff, right? There are things that you could do physically that will make you more attractive. And you also, you also have to understand what kind of ball game you're playing. If you're a woman and you are in the dating market, you have to understand the thing that men are looking for the most, which is pretty girls. And I know that it sucks because there are a lot of women out there that have a lot more to offer than just being pretty. And maybe they don't have the much pretty, but that's what most men are looking for. I'm not saying that there aren't guys out there that are not looking for that, but in general, most men are looking for girls that are physically attractive. So... Given that information, if you're looking for a man, you should be catering to that particular genre as much as you possibly can because that is going to give you the most success. So given the fact that you don't look the best, losing weight will increase you by a lot, like a lot physically. Um, let's say hypothetically you're a two right now, you would easily go up to a four or five, um, which is a lot. That's a lot of points. And if you did other things, like maybe worked on your hair care, maybe worked on your style, uh, things such like that, that would definitely improve. Not saying that you can't work on the other stuff as well, like the underlying things, sense of humor, comedy, things like that, um, conversation skills, work, 
that stuff right there is also really, really valuable. But in general, if you're going to work on yourself and you want to get a date, it will be the physical stuff. So maybe go to the gym, get a calorie deficit, uh, work on yourself like that for a little bit of time. It's not, you're not, you're not like, you know, it's not, it's not so bad to where it'd be like, oh man, am I just ugly? Am I fat? Am I this and that? Like, is it just over for me? You're only 21 years old. You got plenty of time. Um, you're good to be honest, dude. It's not that big of a deal to be honest when it comes to dating you know would you rather date somebody that doesn't give a fuck about you would you rather wait a little bit of time to find somebody that actually cares about you don't look at dudes also um as anything other than like whatever you get ghosted everybody gets ghosted everybody gets fucking ghosted you're not unique in that there's some beauty in understanding that you're not unique in that um you're just one of many right a lot of these dudes on these dating apps are just out there to smell vaginas and don't get me wrong there are plenty of women out there also that are trying to smell penises which is fine it's whatever but you have to know what you're what you're going for so if i was you some helpful tidbits, lose weight, get calorie deficit, go to the gym, work on yourself a little bit, skin care, hair care, things like that. Maximize the looks maxing as much as you possibly can. Um, and this goes for guys too. A lot of guys should be doing this as well because gr- women do care about physical looks and stuff like that. It's okay to work out your butt cheeks as a guy. Women do like big butt cheeks on men. But that's what I would say to this woman. The girls are walking alongside me and I hope this reaches the right audience on TikTok. I want to speak to the girl who's struggling like I am still. Um, we're gonna find the right person. I don't. I just think that there's a gamble here, and it's really sad, dude. Because like, it's really uplifting to hear this person talk like this, but it's also it's actually really sad because it's like you're not doing anything to improve your chances if you're in the dating market and you're getting nothing and you consistently get nothing, and then you're wondering like what is it? It's you. You know, you're the issue. You're the problem. You're the main issue here. You got a lot of things working against you right now. And it's going to be real difficult for you. It's going to be real difficult for you if you're not going to at least acknowledge what some things you can do. I don't have the answer. I'm sorry, my video. I got the answers. I got the answers for you, bro. Those don't have the answer. I just want to speak to the girl who's struggling like me and let you know you're not alone. Um, your values are important and you should hold strongly to them. And I just want to... It's fine for you to be really religious and wait till marriage and all this other stuff. But you got to you gotta do some other shit there. There's, there's got to be some things there, bro um there's there's too much wrong here you're gonna need to change some stuff I sit with good girls like me and keep sharing my journey here on tiktok so i just experienced that today so i'm feeling a little bit down but i knew I, if i talked to my tiktok community i'd feel better so stop confining in other people to try to make it to try to make your life seem better like how much validation do you need from your audience to tell you that you're doing fine and you're great or whatever the fuck sure it could be uplifting but you shouldn't be relying on it you should be finding it's just sad, bro. I mean, they're 21 years old. Maybe they got they got a lot of time to figure this stuff out. It's real difficult at that age to not um, fall into a pit of despair and wonder whether or not you're really musty or ugly or whatever the fuck. You know, we all been there. Um, it just sucks seeing it in real time. Please drop a comment, drop a like. Let me know your experience in, the, in this. And I hope nobody feels judgment. That's not what this video is about. It's just I don't know where to turn next. And- I'm judging. You know, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with judging um there's there's gonna have to be some steps you're gonna have to do a lot of things here my comfortable level and i'm hoping someone older than me can have some advice right there dude got you man i'm a few years older than her i think i got like what how old she she say she was uh 21 about eight years on you so i mean i I mean i'm not a woman I, I, i don't really have the dating expertise to navigate the dating market as a woman but uh i think a lot of the advice i just gave you would probably benefit you paramount so, I love y'all. God bless y'all. Have a great weekend and roll tide. She seems nice. She seems really nice. Uh, it's just like, there needs to come a point where you look in the mirror and realize that you got some issues. You know, there's some things you got to do. There's some stuff that you're going to have to improve. And it's tough. It's really tough sometimes to look that person in the mirror and go, okay, this is not the best. I'm going to need to do something about that. And it's tough. It is. And it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of courage. But it's something she's going to have to do if I'm going to keep it a buck with you, especially if she wants to be religious away from marriage, especially in, a day, in an age where most people nowadays um, are just trying to hit it and quit it and have sex and that's it. And relationships are you know few and far between. There's a lot of stuff she's going to have to do. I am really tired of being strong. <laughs> that tattoo is cringe as fuck, bro. Fast forward, pause, and play. And having to overcome life's toughest obstacles when can i just live 
When do I stop having to go through things? Never. Let me explain. This year, got my heart broken by a man. Was fully in love with him. And then I built myself back up and I started liking myself again and it was great. Then got diagnosed with, and then we were dealing with the PCOS and my health things. We're like, okay, we got that under control. And then my dad gets diagnosed with cancer. And as the eldest daughter who takes care of him and is his emotional support because that's just the way that our family is. I can't do anything right now. Like, I need to clean my apartment and sort my life out, and I physically cannot get out of bed. Sometimes I think in these scenarios, it's best not to think about things. Um, and I know it might be difficult sometimes, too, to not think about stuff. But, you know, you spend those days where you know you you have to go to the gym, and it's raining. It's raining out, dude, and it's pouring. It's pouring, and you the only way you can get there is walking, right? And you're looking down at your shoes, and you're going, I'm tired. You know, I'm tired. I'm sore. I got, you know, other things to do. Maybe I want to play that new season of Fortnite. Maybe I got other stuff to do in my life, things like that. I just don't want to do it. You're thinking about it. Get out of your head. Stop thinking about shit like this. Um, just take your shoes, put them on, walk to the gym. Why are you thinking about stuff? Stop it. Stop thinking about stuff so much. You're in your head. You're trying to make excuses. And if, if you need an excuse, you'll find an excuse. And it sucks to have the weight of the world bearing down on you, but... It happens. Shit happens, right? Things happen, and it sucks a lot of ass, sucks a lot of dick. But at least it makes you a stronger person on the outcome of it. Um, it there's a lot of value in having other people confine in you and having you be the strongest person in the room and things like that. And maybe you don't want to be that person that is the strongest person in the room, but you have no choice. Um, if you don't do it, nobody else will do it, and that sucks. But it is what it is. You're going to have to do that shit. Stop thinking about it as much. My advice, probably. Just, just do it. It's just not fair. <laughs> It's not so much about fair. Um, it's more so about like, it shit, it's just the way it is. It's just how it is, man. It's not so much about fair. Like, I've done this already. My mom had cancer when I was 18. And now my dad has cancer when I'm 28. Yeah. And I... I'm really tired of being strong. I must have pissed somebody off in a past life because Jesus Christ. You know, for the first time in my life, I'm actually proud of myself for never being in a relationship because I've never settled for a man that ain't shit. I've never settled for a man that's less than what I deserve. Ain't shit is actually like a counterproductive word. Ain't shit, meaning like he is shit. So I don't know. Like I hate when people say that shit. I ain't got no, I hear that con consecutively. Um, but anyway, I, I, it's fine for her to say, <laughs> it's a really, it's really kind of cringy when people put these, these, these videos out and say shit like this, because you're just telling people that you're like really, really down bad, but it's okay because my values have never changed or like I never settled. That's not a flex. That's not a flex at all, by the way. None of this is a flex. It's just really sad because you're telling people that you've never been in a relationship and you want to be in a relationship, but you're trying to cope with the fact that you've never been in a relationship with the fact that you've never changed for anybody, which is not a good thing because you should want to change as you get older if you're the same person you were at 21 to to the person that you were when you were 30 it's not good that's not a good thing at all that's terrible so if you're like thinking this is a great thing because you haven't changed for anybody that's terrible that that, that, that actually just tells me that you're like a shit human being you should want to change you should want to have the ability to like grow and perform and, and and have the ability like your experience should shape who you are just because you're thinking one thing now doesn't mean you're gonna think that same thing in five years so it's just terrible actually and that's on period true i mean you're flexing yeah i've never been in a relationship guys think i'm fat i can't get boyfriends but at least i never you know had to change my values i guess even though my values might be really perpetually fucked I care a lot about how gym bros like fat women or skinny gamer guys like fat women. I don't know if I believe any of this shit. If skinny gamer guys and gym bros like fat women, dude, I just, I just don't see, I don't see that shit. I just don't see that shit. If I do, uh, and there might be more validity to it when it comes to the gamer guys, probably, because a lot of those gamer dudes that are playing like League of Legends for 19 hours a day and that are literally pouring salt out of the top of their foreheads. Um, maybe they're just so down bad. They don't got a lot of options and things like that. But gym bros, maybe, I don't know, man, maybe like for sex. I don't fucking know, bro. I just hate this. Like gym bros, like fat girls. And like, why are you shitting on gym bros like that? Like, I, I, I just don't think, I just don't think that's the truth. I just don't, man. But why is nobody talking about the beards? I swear to God, every 
fat influencer who is married or partnered, their partner has like the biggest beard you've ever seen, like full on Tevya. I cannot be the only person who has noticed this. We need to include the beards in our discussions of which types of men like fat girls. Bearded men, Santa Clauses, um, Middle Eastern men, I guess. Yeah, those guys. I mean, I can't pretend I don't have a personal investment in this because I am fat, I am a girl, I do date men, but like when the beard crosses this certain threshold, when it becomes a little too, when you can grab it in your fist, uh, I become violently turned off because I can now only see you as my great grandpa from the Lithuanian shtetl. Like, I think there's just something primal in my Jewish brain that sees that and says, cousin. But to each their own, I'm happy the girlies are finding love. I just want to know why the beards? A lot of dudes grow beards because they don't have a lot of chin. And that's neither here nor there. I got a chin. Um, so I, I don't need to grow a beard. But that, you know, to tell you the truth, I would grow a beard if I could, but I have... Uh, I have bald spots right here. I don't know, man. My face is just fucking weird sometimes. I just don't get it. It's on both sides, too. So, I don't know. I'm just weird, I guess. I would grow a beard if I had the option to. I'd also be six foot four and um, have a big, giant penis, but I already have that, so it's not that big of a deal for me. But I know a lot of guys out there that are struggling with small penisitis. I don't, I've never had that issue personally. I got the big meatitis, so, you know, I can't really relate to that. Um, I don't know about the validity of dudes with beards. I know a lot of dudes nowadays, if they can grow beards, they will. Not all beards are created equal, by the way. Some beards are patchy. Some beards are really, really, like, uh, straggly and things like that. So, you not all beards are created equal. I don't know if this is, like, a thing across the board. Most dudes nowadays want to grow beards, though. What What is it about the beards? Can someone please... Somebody gotta let me know, too, if you're, like, somebody that's ever ingested a person with a beard... Um, I've heard a lot of people say that it's not a good thing because it's really itchy and really straggly when you kiss and stuff like that. Please do an investigation because I need to know. What is the word for this type of man with this type of beard and why are they so specifically into bigger women? I just don't think it's this true, but go on, go on, go on. Dating well fat part three. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've talked a little bit. Of See a cat in the back? Like the cat in the back? Cat looks cool. Look at the cat. See the cat? Beautiful amazing specimen of human being about some of the real disadvantages to dating while fat so to be fair i thought i should probably bring up a couple of advantages cool well it's not i think i know some of the advantages if you're fat when dudes see you, they will automatically negate you from the dating bracket. Therefore, you're not dating shit men that are so superficial that they only want you for your physical looks. I think that will be a dating advantage for this person, even though it's a really, really shit, shit one. Really dating? It's dating adjacent. I will say, being fat, I get catcalled significantly less. Okay. That's, and I guess, I'm sure. I mean, it's not, it's not exactly dating at all. It's just like kind of a sexual harassment, but go ahead. And there are some people who don't mind it, but personally, it feels gross to be catcalled and I'm not a big fan of it. Can't when relate. I was younger, it happened fairly regularly. And I remember always feeling slightly unsafe or uncomfortable when it would happen and it doesn't happen nearly as often and i'm really glad for that true get busted dudes don't look at you i guess there's a benefit in some ways dating apps are actually a lot easier now that i'm not thin in my experience i match with less people but i tend to find less jerks okay that's exactly what i said dudes that really only care about the way you look therefore the bracket of men that i do get is less superficial and more realistic it's a double-edged sword because most guys are dating women because they find them attractive and there's nothing wrong with that but i guess um you're finding dudes that don't really care about the fact that you're, you're overweight or you're obese or whatever but is it really a good thing to date somebody that doesn't care about your physical shape at all or somebody that cares really really not that much about it in my opinion probably not you would want somebody that um, takes care of themselves and you know wants to better themselves so than i used to or at least if they are a jerk it comes up much sooner than called it. it used to called it called it it feels like for some reason guys don't want to give you a chance if you're fat what do you mean for some reason 
There's a very obvious reason. You're fat and it's unhealthy. It's also unattractive for the majority of people because most people just don't want to be around somebody that's fat. There's just really no, nothing good about it. You're literally taking your body and you're literally imploding it from the inside out. You're making it something that it should not be. You are the definition of unhealthy. And also, all of the physical features that made you who you are are now being clouded by this shell, this this uh, this morphous blob around your body. So if you had a jawline, where? If you had chin structure, where? If you had rib cage, where? If you had thigh structure, where? You're just fat. You're not a, like all fat people look fundamentally the same. And like, don't get me wrong, some fat people have a little bit more features than others, but. In general, you don't really have features anymore. You don't have defining things that make you a particular human being, physically speaking. So you have to rely on the secondary features. And if you're in a market where the secondary features are like third, fourth, fifth down the line compared to the, the big ones, which are you looking the way that you do, it's going to be hard. It's going to be real difficult. So yeah. 100%, there are reasons why people don't want to date you when you're fat. You're just not good looking and you got health problems. But those also tend to be really superficial. I, I just, so what? Like, they're superficial, but so the fuck what? People buy cars that are arguably really, really terrible, disgusting cars, but they look good, so they buy them. People buy things that look good. People invest in things that look good that may necessarily not be good for them. So what's your point? So what's your point? Yes, it's superficial. That's just what you have to work with, though. So what if it's superficial, man? Kind of not nice, guys. Yeah. So in that way, it's been a lot better. Don't get me wrong. I've been matched with before by guys who literally only matched with me to call me fat or to make fun of me yeah. or to be a jerk. Yeah. And those were pretty hard days. But what, what, Hard days? If, if somebody hits you up on a dating app and says you're a big back beluga, so what, dude? So what? I've had women hit me up before. And they said, like, the fact that you would message me, you are literally the definition of a crustacean. You look like a grease stain. How, how would you ever think you had a chance with me? And I'm just thinking, you matched with me too. Like, I wouldn't have been able to message you. You think I'm buying premium? Nah. So the only way I was able to message you is because you liked my photo and you liked me. So what, like, what, do you just want to be mean to me? You just want to be mean? Like, I don't take any of that shit serious. Like, it's whatever, to be honest. So, um... I, you just can't take it that serious, bro. I feel like this woman is, I don't know, like, maybe she needs to get a little bit more experience. I don't know, bro. It shouldn't be that hard for the day to be ruined, man. And those were pretty hard days. But all in all, I would say that dating apps while fat are somewhat better. Dating sucks no matter what shape, size, or gender you are that's true but there are definitely disadvantages depending on all those things but if i'm gonna harp on the horrible things about dating while fat i probably should bring up some of the good things so if you have an experience let me know sad why is being attracted to fat women considered a fetish because being fat in general is very, very not good physically speaking. It's also very, very negative in terms of the health outcomes. And it's also very, very attractive for most people. Therefore, if somebody's attracted to it, it probably has to be a fetish because this person is literally attracted to somebody that is literally dying. So, yeah, it's probably that reason and everything I listed before. Always. But being attracted to thin women isn't. Is because thin, thin people are, in general, the norm. Like, that's the average. That's what people should be. So... If you're attracted to thin people, that just means you're attracted to regular stuff. That just means that you're just, oh, this is just normal. Like, it, it has to be outside the norm in order for it to be a fetish or something like that, right? Like, if somebody was into, you know, sucking toes, not traditionally normal, but, you know, uh, you got to go outside the norm to suck toes. You know what I'm talking about? By the way, there's nothing wrong with sucking toes. You want to suck toes. I've never personally sucked toes, but I've had a woman pee in my mouth and I've peed in a woman's mouth. Um, I wouldn't say it's my fetish. I didn't like to do it. Felt like a villain while I was doing it. Um, but, you know, I would consider those things to be fetish. Is it because the world has a really hard time believing that anyone could be just genuinely attracted to fat women? Yes. Yeah. 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 Hundred percent. Yeah. They just believe it so strongly that it has to be some like weird margin fetish. Yeah. 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 yeah you got it. That's right. That's true. Something to think about. I'm um, just thinking about it. That's true. Yeah, 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 it's uncommon. It's not supposed to happen. You know, like if you are attracted to it, then it's fine. But like, it's not normal. <laughs> Definitely not normal at all. But anyway, guys.
we're gonna end the video here if you enjoyed today's video i'd appreciate it for everybody to leave a like comment subscribe sharing the video all those things i appreciate tremendously uh if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now leave it down below by tapping in star because i'm a star 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 what does she want star i'm a star obviously and you're a star too because i know you smell great too you be burning so bright so amazingly yeah you, your light shining through like an outlet of beauty and divinity you're just so amazing you're so awesome you have great talents and you smell good and i love your eyebrows they smell look and are amazing you got to tell me how you're able to do your eyebrows like that because they look too good to be true anyway you want to check out my social medias they'll be listed down below uh enjoy the rest of your day guys